everyone and welcome. This is Melissa Arma with the Stock Swish and I'm here reviewing the play of the day which was Oracle which was a long. And I did see this last night and I actually had an email uh, or a video, I'm sorry, out on YouTube last night. If you are not subscribed to my YouTube site, you can go to uh, YouTube and subscribe. Just click in Stock Swish and you just subscribe. Anytime I do a review like a postmarker review of Oracle last night, or play of the day or or any webinar you can go there and you will get it directly emailed to your inbox it's the best way to follow follow my calls and get them immediately because I had to work a lot last night I saw the gap last night now what did I see last night it actually went over the number over forty dollars went up to forty eighty three target for today is forty one it almost got there it's not there yet I'm six cents from the target this is basically there but I really wanted this today in the morning to open stronger than it did. Market is strong though today, waiting for the FOMC minutes announcements. Anyways, then it fell, fell, this is into the open. I was like, oof, because I really wanted to hold 39.90. Again, this is the benefit of being in the live trading room with me because you get the exact call, which I did in this today. And then I thought, no, this gap is still good. This is an amazing gap. This rated 23 points today. I love this gap. No, wait a minute. I think it rated 22. Hold on. Oh my gosh. Is it 20? 22. It was 22. Oracle was 22 today. So let me go back. It opened and swooshed. Opened and swooshed right away. And we actually played the swoosh, which we don't always get to do. So immediately into the open, here it was. I said, that's it. We're going long. In fact, I took it right before it hit. And then it ran up. And I didn't even get this whole entire thing up in here. But look at that. It almost went to 41 in the first five minutes of the day. So Oracle opened and swooshed. And then it had another setup in here. I called this in the room. I didn't do it. And then I was like, oh, why didn't I do that? Because this ran up here and it almost went over 41. Anyways, it pulled back, pulled back, pulled back, pulled back. And then I did another entry in here. Late, but timing was good at 10 o'clock in here with this. Then it ran up, couldn't get over 50. And I'm like, ugh. You know, longs take a long time to go. So long to go, sometimes you lose patience with them. But this is a good, strong stock today. So then after it came up in here, I said, you know what? I'm taking half out. I got out of half of this before I closed out the room. I pulled up the stop, which I don't normally do. I did not want this to go over the low this far here. I put it at 40.15, so I trailed in the rest. You can see here now this is breaking down. Let's look at the 30 minute. But it's still a great long. In fact, this will probably set up this afternoon. This afternoon, this will set up in the afternoon probably well, again, I don't know if you want to be in any day trades during the minutes, but at between 1.30 and 2 o'clock. This is still a nice long. It's a good long follow through for continuation gap even tomorrow, particularly if it doesn't get up over 41 today. This might be the whole move for the day, though, in this because it did have a good, decent move up here. Then the swoosh into the open basically went to the target. $1.50 is a big move for Oracle. This might be it for it today. So I played the second play on through, did a good job with the first one, done. You have to be patient with longs. If you can't, then you either kind of scalp it for the second play, or you could have done this, actually this was the third play. This is the second play, the scalp up here when it went over almost to 41, or you you just kill it. It's, it's very, very challenging sometimes when you're in a trade late, which I, I'm not normally, and I, and I wasn't today, because then I just said, you know what, I'm pulling the stop up. I took half out. It's either going to go or it's not. I'm going to eat lunch, do my thing, and here I am. So Oracle, though, is definitely still higher. And a beautiful gap today and open and swoosh. And we ended up playing the swoosh, which doesn't always work out. But I saw this last night. I had the video on YouTube. Nice bullish gap here in Oracle. Look for follow through. This chart looks amazing now. After the gap, this did have earnings last night. This looks great. This looks like it's going to make a brand new all-time high this year with the market and everything else that's strong, too. So nice bullish gap in Oracle. Golden gap rated 22 points. If you're interested in learning from me how to rate bullish gaps, the bullish gap class is in April, April 5th, 6th, and 7th. And the bearish gap class is this coming weekend, Sunday and Monday, March 20th and 21st. If you'd like more information, email me at thestockswish.com if you want to sign up for the class. Deadline is Friday. And hopefully I will talk to everybody soon. I'll do a video on the market when we're done tonight after the minutes, and we'll see what the market does. Thanks, everybody. Have a great day.